Speaking to Cam Viana manager Brad Wellman, following today's 0-0 draw against Carl Shorten. Brad, probably not the result you would have wanted ideally, but it does stop that rot. What do you make of that? Yeah, I think at the end of the day, it's a clean sheet. It's, we've not been beat. Um, stops the rot in terms of um, uh, inconsistency a little bit, cause, but it's, we've been good at home in the last month and I think that it, it hurts us a little bit of draw, but... But listen, they've been, uh, I think that's what now, 10 games, they've not lost four, so I know they've drawn a few and we dug deep, but but listen, I'd, I'd take a draw and, and clean sheet and walk away. Do you think a draw was probably a fair result because Shorten did have a fair amount of chances? Um, yeah, I think, oh listen, Sam Jackson's made two or three unbelievable saves. One, one he tipped onto the bar in the second half is probably as good a save you'll see a goalkeeper make at this level. Um, but I think we've had chances. I think... Uh, we had one or two in the first half. Ego had one from distance. Second half, Ego had two or three. The keeper made some really good saves from, and we was we was grinding them down. And and then, obviously, at the end, in in the the last seconds of the game, we go and score, and it's it's disallowed. So I think we've had as many chances as them. I think that I think that what what you'll see from a from a fan's perspective is Jacko's had to make the saves that have looked a lot better, um, and I think that's why it looks like maybe they could have edged it. You said before we started talking it was frustrating. Um, was it frustrating they had that player sent off and we didn't quite make it count as much as we would have liked to? Yeah, I think it was it was frustrating that um, I I felt that um, we had a lot in our locker and that we weren't emptying. Do you know what I mean? I thought that once we started playing centrally into Higo and Sachi versus going wide, I thought it allowed them to just kind of twist and turn. We got a few opportunities. So I think I was more frustrated with... Um, the quality on the ball that we had, I don't think we've been. I think we've been a lot better this year, and and been beat. But we looked solid um, in other areas of the game, and and I think it's just more frustrating that uh, we've not come away with a with a win. But then it's very difficult to play against players teams with ten men. Um, you know, I mean, straight away the the boy against sent, sent off is the boy who's, who's playing as sort of like their central midfielder, and they bring in Frimpong from, from out wide, who's had a great game, he's a great player and, and shores them up. So, you know, swings and roundabouts, but I think that's more the frustration. A clean sheet for Sam Jackson. He has does he has come into it for his critics this season. How much of a confidence boost would that be for him? He's made some cracking saves, like you say, that one that he's tipped onto the ball was superb. I think um I think for Sam, listen, and I've just spoke to him out there literally seconds before <laughs> I've come in to to speak to you and I said to him, I think all round that's probably his best performance for us. Not just the saves he's made, his kicking was good. He was loud, he was communicating, and I think he, he knows that over the last month um, there's been a doubt in my mind as to whether he's the right goalkeeper to, to take us forward. Um, but slowly after the last few games, I think when you look at the mistake at Chatham and the mistake at um, uh, uh, Buckhurst Steel, which cost us points uh, or cost us wins, um, I think Jacko's got better. And I think that now it's a case of, I like just said to him then, play with that confidence, be that big, strong man and, and lead us through to the end of the season because he's he's definitely got the the ability to do that. It's just, you know, he's got a few things going on in his life, but, you know, it's um, we'll get him to where he needs to, but he was, he was fantastic today. Away from the game, something that wouldn't have been missed by a lot of Eva Goliath Canvey fans was the sight of Evans Kowasi on the pitch running with a football at his feet. Um, Everyone wants me to ask, when do we see Evans in a Canvey top again? Uh, I think that um, Evans is still a long way off. Um, he's probably another six weeks. Um, the, the the goal is to get him back from uh, back training towards the end of March. Um, whilst he's doing them little things on the pitch, it's very minor things. Um, still encouraging. Yeah, still encouraging, but he's got a smile on his face and he's... He's excited and he's working hard in the gym, and it, we've just got to go through this process because he's, he's um, we can't have him break down again. Um, but he's in a good place at the moment, and we're in a good place as a team um, with him um, being integrated into the squad. But he's certainly not involved in training at the moment or anything like that. Going to next Saturday, Lewis away, always a difficult away game. Probably one of the highlights of last season, though. What do you make of that one? Yeah, I think um, you know. In all fairness to to Lewis, I think that they're a team that's uh, probably 
had the word inconsistency banding around with them a little bit this year, similar to us. So, you know, we know what we've done last year. We know what they're about. They'll, they'll pass, 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 pass. And we know that um, we can go there and it'll be a different kind of game. We'll have to be solid defensively and we know we can hit them on the counter-attack. But, um, yeah, it's a game we look forward to going to. Um, and we're confident we can get something. And I think we play them again on the Tuesday here, straight after. So, you know, we're, listen, we're confident. We're... It's just frustrating, you know, because the last couple of games we've had um, errors that have cost us, that have been punished. And then, obviously, today in the last minute, well, I think the referee's got two massive decisions wrong today. He's got the handball in the first half, which was which was a handball all day. And he said to me he thought it was a, a yellow shirt, um, but it wouldn't have been handball, wouldn't have been a penalty because it was too close. But he gave a pen, he gave a free kick to them. And then at the end, where their boys touched the ball last and Sachi's done unbelievable scores. It's frustrating, but, you know, it's just the... Um, I don't know, I can't really talk about referees. They're winding me up at the moment. <laughs> we'll leave it there then, Brett. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, talk Thanks, to next Thank you.